here you can see the status of the server that is mysql server so here you can see an option called data export and data import interface so right now i'm going to import a database into the mysql server using the mysql workbench so let's go to the data import so this option will be available under management option or you can go to the server here you can see data import and export so the, these both two options are the same so now i'm going to select the data import option so here you can see there are two options available one is importing the whole project folder so right now i'm not having the project folder so let's go to the second option so here you can export sorry here you can import the sql file so which i have right now so let's go and open the sql file so this is the sql file which i have so let's just open it so so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to import this sql database into a new schema which i'm going to create right now if you have a old schema you can just select it and like this you can select and just select start import so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select new schema the same name which i have here so uh, this new schema was selected that is a target which i am going to import and here you can see an option called select database objects to import so if you have multiple database you can select the options here so right now i am not having any multiple databases right now so i am going to click start import so it will start importing the whole database which is situated in this location so let's start the importing process so if you see here it was asking for the password of the mysql server so there's no password so leave it as a blank and select ok so it was running this command right now so if you see, if you see here the import is running and there's no status displayed here so if you want to stop the import process you can just select stop from here so i don't want to stop the import process let it run let it run so it is a huge database so it will take some time to import the log here still it was running so you can see here all the databases are importing so here you can see so you can check out the logs from here check out the schema and here you can see 
schema was created and the tables have also been created so you can see here so let's open some of the table and you can see the import has been completed successfully without any error logs so right now I am going to go to the city table which I have imported so just go to this option and select the row yeah so this is the table which I have imported that is the database which I am imported I have selected a table and you can see the whole thing was imported without any errors and without any issues so right now the next option which I am going to use is export so go to management interface select data export and here you can see the schema which you are going to export I am going to select the same database which I have imported and let's export it to the self-contained file that is the SQL file so let's go and save it as new polish new export so select save and just select start export so it is asking for a warning message that is a confirmation by SQL dump version mismatch just select continue anyway and you can see